narcissists are paranoid. They are unreasonably or obsessively anxious. They show worry, nervousness or unease about anything that might have an uncertain outcome. Often in a way that is not guided by or based on good sense. In a way that is unfair and unacceptable. They show a cautious distrust of someone or something. They have a desire to be very careful and avoid potential problems or dangers which creates this feeling that someone or something cannot be relied upon. They doubt the honesty or reliability of the people around them and regard them with suspicion. This feeling of suspicion causes them to have the idea or impression that someone or something is questionable, dishonest or dangerous. They may even believe that you are involved in illegal or dishonest activity. This makes them very anxious and suspicious. They may seem worried, concerned, fearful, uneasy, troubled. In a way that is not guided by or based on good sense. It creates a state where they constantly have these ideas or thoughts that continually preoccupy or intrude on their minds. They can become very eager or concerned to do something or for something to happen. Where they are acting on these ideas or thoughts that are not guided or, or based on good sense. These ideas and thoughts are based on their anxiety and suspicion. The narcissist has no interest in protecting you. They have no interest in keeping you safe from danger or harm. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. These ideas or thoughts that continually preoccupy or intrude on their minds are there for the narcissist's protection. Narcissists are very weak, fearful people. This is what makes them so paranoid, where they are unreasonably or obsessively anxious. It leads to mistrust, where they become very suspicious of you and have no confidence in you. They are always expecting some form of insult or someone speaking of them without proper respect and attention. They are always expecting something undesirable or unpleasant. They have this unreasonable fear or rational belief that people are plotting to harm them. It develops into hypervigilance an enhanced state of sensory sensitivity accompanied by an exaggerated intensity of behaviours whose purpose is to detect activity. It increases their anxiety and often leads to exhaustion. They are always looking and tracking the people around them, following their trails or movements because they are expecting something undesirable or unpleasant to happen. They have a very negative mindset. They tend to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen, which leads them to show excess excessive or anxious concern about detail. They become excessively concerned with minor details or rules. Because of this, they may become very attentive to and are concerned about accuracy and detail. 
they may become very difficult to please as they are always looking for faults and this then leads to continual criticism. They are paranoid and hypervigilant. This is why they have such an excessive interest in certain events. This is why they have such an obsessive interest in learning more about you, trying to gather information, making inquiries to discover and examine facts of certain incidents or allegations, making inquiries into your character, activities or background. They have an inner critic or inner dialogue within their minds which detaches them from reality. It tells them things that are not true. It forms new ideas, images or concepts of people or external objects not present to the senses. It creates mental images, imagined situations and then they react to them with answers. Although nothing may be happen externally, these mental images and imagined situations are affecting their emotions and leaving them unable to determine what is true. Once they have given enough attention and consideration to these emotions, it becomes real to them. Their feelings become the facts and then you can't tell them what is true. Even if you gave them real facts or information, indicating that their belief or proposition is not in accordance with reality, they still won't believe you. Because the inner critic or inner dialogue has the power over anything in reality to influence and direct their behavior and the course of events. They cannot filter it out or succeed in understanding, interpreting or identifying what is a likely or possible state or fact. It affects their judgment. It affects their ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. This is why they overreact and respond more emotionally or forcibly than is justified. They have these idiosyncratic beliefs or impressions maintained despite being contradicted by reality or rational argument of being subjected to hostility or ill treatment, jealousy or exaggerated self-importance. They become unreasonably or obsessively anxious, suspicious and mistrustful that they might miss out on something if they do not entertain the irrational thoughts within their mind. If they can visualize it and imagine it as a future possibility, then they believe that it is likely to happen however idiosyncratic it may seem. They will give attention or consideration to these ideas or feelings and this is what creates the paranoia. They might turn against you and perceive you as being opposed or hostile towards them. You become their opposition and they will become resistant or distant towards you which will often be expressed in action or argument. Their inner dialogue or inner critic is only concerned about protecting them. It is only concerned with keeping them safe from danger or harm. They are unreasonably or obsessively anxious that anyone else is planned to, plan to harm them or doing something undesirable or unfavorable to them. They are always anticipating that someone is going to do something to them. They expect and predict it. They will even take action in order to be prepared because the paranoia, anxiety and fear within them is so strong. They feel the need to act, to get you before you get them. This is why they will often discard you if they fear and anticipate that you are going to leave them. Then it makes them believe that they have the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. They were the ones that were in control. 
even if you weren't going to leave them. If they experience the sense or feeling from their inner dialogue or inner critic, they will react to it. They will cause a process or action to begin. They are constantly trying to read into your thoughts, feelings and actions to the point where it has a very strong emotional effect on them. They are overthinking about things that are not relevant. Things that are not appropriate to the current time, period or circumstances of contemporary interest. Things that are not closely connected or appropriate to what is being done or considered. Things that have no significance, importance or value. It consumes them. It completely fills their mind. It diverts their attention and prevents them from, from concentrating on something more beneficial or favourable to their lives. They are so fearful and prepared for any possible events or circumstances and trying to stay ahead of you. They focus on things outside of them that have nothing to do with them. Yet they want to have the power to influence or direct people's behaviour and the course of events. It has great importance, significance and value to them because they believe that if they had the ability to control it it means that they have great power, influence and effect. This is due to their exaggerated sense of being impressive and imposing. It is an exaggeration. It has nothing to do with reality. They cannot filter it out or succeed in understanding, interpreting or identifying what is a likely or possible state or fact. It possesses them. It has power over them. It dominates their mind, their emotions and ideas and this is manifested through their speech and actions. It becomes an ability, quality and characteristic. They cannot function in healthy environments because of their paranoia and hypervigilance. Because of their unjustified suspicion and mistrust of other people. They are unable to rest or relax as a result of their anxiety. They have to be engaged in constant activity. They function well in environments that are not based on sound reasoning or probability. Peace interferes with their normal arrangement and functioning, which is why they hate to be alone. They have to be in an environment that validates that people are bad or plotting against them. It has to validate their inner dialogue or inner critic. That is the only way that they can feel comfortable. You cannot talk sense with them because their inner dialogue or inner critic will, over, will always override any facts or logic that you present to them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nartoforcoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Nars Forever store where you can purchase your own Nars Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.